awake? You are awake. Mr. Conby's up. Hey, buddy. I thought you'd be knocked out for the rest of the night. <laughs> Come on out and join us, will you? I'll save you some gumbo. Good to have you back. You gave us all a good scare. What happened? You had a psychological breakdown. It's all for manhandling you, but you're being violent. You stabbed Jeremy and then punched Dr. Gray. Are they okay? Jeremy's a little strange, but everything's back to normal. Really? All thanks to you, Combat. You want to try standing up? Well, if it isn't the hero of the day. How are you feeling, Detective? Never better. How about you two? Hey, Jeremy, I didn't do too much damage, did I? Things are fine. Very quiet. What's up with him? Painkillers? No. You see, despite you having the finesse of a one-eyed butcher, you managed to lobotomize, dear Jeremy. I did what? It's actually quite impressive. It's not like I hadn't considered it myself. I just wish Jeremy could have been helped without reducing his personality to that of an oyster. But he's gonna live. Of course. As long as someone keeps feeding him, he'll outlive the best of us. Does Emily know about Jeremy's condition? Yes. She seems to be handling it quite well under the circumstances. Hey, Ruth. Glad to see you made it back to Dorsetto. You too, Detective. Make sure to stay for the festivities. It's no Mardi Gras, but it ain't bad. Good to see you back on your feet, Detective. Have some gumbo. Thanks. I'll save it for later. What are you looking for? Just keeping an eye out for the storm. Radio says it could be a wild one. That is one impressive tree. More impressive than you could ever imagine. All right, tell me, what the hell's about to happen here? Every year we have a little turn-the-page ceremony by the tree. It's symbolical. Symbol... It's like life has its cycles of grief and happiness, you know? Just like a tree facing the seasons. Things change, but remain the same. Everyone knows what to do? Y'all know the new words. Mrs. Thompson, we talked about this. I'm not sure everyone is comfortable. Doctor, I insist. This is important. We've waited for so long, Doctor. Let's just go with the old song. Not every change is an improvement. Boss, good or bad, we need to move forward. All in, Doc. Let's bet it all. But we don't know what we're dealing with. It'll be okay, Doctor. Better even. Ever their praises in abundance to the black goat of the woods. 
Hear us, brother. Take pity on us. Take pity on us. Ever Hear the us, and 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 us, Are you crazy? Yes. 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 Come with me! Get over here! Jeremy, come with me! Jeremy, come here! No! There has to be another one! No! No! Let that monster leave Dorsetto. I have to stop it.
detective. Oh, what the hell was that? I try to tell you. There was so much evidence. Their devotion to the black goat was like nothing I've ever seen before. I felt so dumb believing any of it, but I'm glad I did. Are you okay? Everything is out of order. This isn't the way the story goes. I shouldn't be alive. Yeah. Well, you're welcome, buddy. How are you doing, sweetie? I kinda like it. You ruined everything, but I'm not mad. All right, you ready to head back to New Orleans? Come on, Jeremy. We're leaving. Can I come? I thought you said you didn't need saving. Don't leave her. She's important. Of course we're taking her with us. 